Thank you so much. Join alongside Javon Shepard and Leo Routens. Okay, the final few minutes of that game between Canada and Greece. Let's just end it with this tagline. Shea Gildas Alexander is him finishing that one with 21 points. And Javon, think about this. You had Dylan fouling out. You had Lou fouling out. Dwight fouling out. When it mattered most, Shea stepped up. Yeah, Shea is him, but he's also a closer, yeah. right? He put the basketball in his hands late in the game, and he's going to deliver. But I think the impressive thing with this group today is the fact that the ball pressure, right? That was the key for them. Dylan Brooks, RJ, Shea mixing it up. Um, a number of the guys that really came in implied so much pressure on Greece's guards. You think about it, Leo, that forced them into four shot clock violations, right? And a lot of times, Greece was getting the ball over half and really getting into their offense with about 10 seconds left on the floor, uh, on the clock, rather, excuse me. But the ball handling, the ball pressure, excuse me, was really the key. And obviously, SGA is him, and he's a closer. <laughs> and you got to remember, first game, too. So there was a lot of ball pressure, maybe too aggressive at times, yeah. where they gave up threes because they're quick enough to contain the basketball anytime they yeah. want. So they have to be conscious of that. But the other positive was they had to lead all game long, mm -hmm. right? So even though you had some foul trouble, even though you didn't have the best game, right, you gave yourself a chance for Greece to always come back, come back, but not get over the hump. That's difficult. And then when you have the closer, you have that confidence. <laughs> you know at the end of the game this guy can get it done. Okay, but it wasn't perfect, as you no. guys had mentioned. So let's talk about heading into this game because what a flex it was to say Canada is deep. You have a Jamal Murray coming off of your bench. Sure, he had eight, but let's talk about the bench combined 14 points, that's not good enough. Not good enough, but I'm not concerned at all because when you look at the two big additions to this team, it's Jamal Murray, it's Andrew Nemhard. And you look at the group this, this past summer, and all those guys that we saw in the starting lineup, they have some chemistry, right? There's some connective fabric there. But you have those two guards that are headed that are manning the second line, that second group. So, yes, there's a lot of kings to work out, but in international play, you're going to have different guys step up in different yeah. games. But more importantly, you have to figure out ways to win against different opponents mm -hmm. because there's going to be different styles, different systems, different schemes. So I expect those guys that had tough games today in that second line, you're going back to the drawing board, watch some film, and you're going to have a better one next game. It also tells you you have buy-in, right. all right? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I met with this group before they went away, and that's what we talked about, that you've got to have buy-in. It doesn't matter what your role is, you accept it. And Jamal Murray is willing to mm -hmm. accept it. Also, remember, he's still dragging a little bit, whether it's injuries, mm -hmm. whether it's fatigue. He's still not himself. So I don't think it's a big deal to come off the bench for him. But this bench can play better, and they will play better. I have no doubt about that. I think to add to that as well, he did show at the end of that third quarter, there was a sequence where he had a big defensive possession, yeah. had a big offensive possession as well. So if you see him in spurts, it's not about, it's not about him starting the game. It's about him being ready to finish the game. Listen, I can already hear all of the people around the world that were saying, <laughs> yeah, Canada, uh, 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 but you were that close against Greece. Silence. There's still games to come. 24 years was the last time that we've seen a national men's program on this stage. You talk about teams to come. Patty Mills, Australia, they're looking good. And those two go head-to-head -head next.